Disclaimer, this video is talking about upon fiction, nothing else related to reality. Ignore my mistakes, it's totally imaginary, don't take it seriously, I'm not encouraging anyone to get influenced by it. The voice in the video is mine, picture created goes to the honor. Please don't copy my content. Then I went to you find them everywhere, but his dad, bad luck, he didn't even get a single clue. However he goes, they are not in Busan, right? We know that. Code was right. The more you chase, the more it will run. Like this, six months passed. These six months were to Tayong. He was so angry on himself. He's hiding and fighting his family. But you know, whatever is yours, it will come to you at the right time. He's not back at all. Jungkook often come to meet him and about Mr. Kim. They didn't get any reaction from him. He never visited them again, or maybe he did. Who knows? Right now, Jungkook came to Daegu for some work. He was going to his car, but his gaze stopped on a little girl who was jumping and trying to get her balloon which was stuck in a branch of a tree. Jungkook went towards her and took her balloon out and gave it to her. Jungkook, here you go, princess. Daddy, thank you, bunny uncle. Boxy smile. Jungkook holds it on his place, looking at her boxy smile. She was looking same like a same. Jungkook, I'm not bunny, pout, Terry, but you're looking like a bunny. He smiled, thinking about Yuri, who also called him bunny. Terry, you know, Terry was sad. There was no one to help Terry. Jungkook cooed at her. He was feeling like he was talking with a three-year-old Taehyung. Jungkook, but now, no more sad. You're bunny, uncle. Show your sadness. He said, making her giggle. Daddy, are you a superman? Shine eyes. Jungkook, Ani, I am Iron Man. Proud. I can do anything. See my bicep? Showing her his bicep. Daddy, can you find my appa? He got lost. Teary eyes. Jungkook felt bad. He gummed her face. Jungkook, don't cry. Let's find your parents. Daddy, no, he's not here. He's at our ho own home. Mama took me here. Appa must be missing Daddy. Jungkook, what? Daddy, we will let's go. Where you went? I told you not to go anywhere. Daddy ran to him. Daddy, sorry, Jamanka. My balloon got stuck there. And this bunny uncle saved my balloon cutely. Oh, thanks for that, Jungkook. No, it's okay. She's cute. Smile. Jimin, yeah, let's go, Daddy. Your mom is waiting at home, okay? He picked her in his arm. She waved to Jungkook and left. Jungkook looked at her direction. He was feeling like she was someone close to him. Time skip, Jungkook came back to Seoul. He was tired and directly slept and next day he went to them to meet. They were sitting in the living room and talking. Damn, how was your trip, Jungkook? It was good, you know, I met a little girl. She was looking same like you. Even she has a boxy smile same as you and realized you your daughter do you have any picture of her then yeah why jungkook show me first then took his phone and showed her picture to him making him shocked jungkook him i met her i met daddy 
She was asking me to find her Appa. Hearing that his name, Tango looked at him with shiny eyes. Tango, you, you mad, Daddy? You mad, my princess? Dear me. Tango nodded. Tango, how was she? How was my Jogo, I just saw her. She was there with a the man. Tango, man, from. Jungkook, well, leave everything. Just go to Daegu. There, there, Daegu. There in Daegu? She doesn't like Daegu. Jungkook, that's fine, maybe she went there because she knew that, you know that, she doesn't like Daegu. Then quickly packed his bag and left for Daegu. Jungkook was so happy for his brother. At Daegu, Daegu tried his best to find Dan. He's going to every place where he thinks they could be. It was morning. He came at park to have some fresh air. He was sitting on a bench and thinking about Ryan and Terry with teary eyes. Daegu, am I that bad? You don't miss me? Suddenly, a ball hit softly on his leg. He took the ball and looked up but got shocked seeing the person. Damn, Daddy shocked. Daddy, Appa, she ran to him and hugged his leg and started crying. Then bent down and hugged her tightly, sobbing. Then why did he leave Appa? Appa was missing a princess, crying. Daddy. Daddy was missing you too. Why don't you come to us? Appa, mommy was sad. Then her forehead. Then where is mommy, baby? Daddy pointed at someone, but then felt like the crown left his feet. Daddy, why? His eyes got moist, seeing the man holding her in embrace and walking while holding her. No, his mind went blank. His eyes traveled to wines eight months. His eyes tears fall without his knowledge. Suddenly, he made an eye contact with Mayan. Mayan got freeze at her place. She held Jimin's hand tightly. Jimin also looked towards him. He understood who he is because the way Terry was holding him and why seeing him. Then came towards them with Terry in his arms. Then why why let's go home to them. Then why please listen to me. Why did you leave me? Why I don't want to talk about anything. Jimena, I'm tired. Take me to home. Jimena looked at them, then at Ryan, and nodded. Then, please, Jimena signed him to follow them. They reached at home and entered inside. Jimena made Ryan sit on couch and gave her water. Jimena, you won't talk. Went frowned and looked at side to see the young son standing. When? Why he is here? I don't want to talk. Jimin sighed. Jimin, come Daddy, let's pack your bag. Daddy moved excitedly and went with Jimin. The young kneeled down in front of Wayne and held her hand. The young, why you left me, Wayne? Tear eyes. She took her hands back. When or what? You wanted me to stay there and see my husband getting married to someone else? Then, how can you leave without talking to me? Ask me why I did that. You should have 
me why in why in I just want peace. Go back to your wife, Dion. Dion, I am with my wife, Wayne. Only you. You are my wife. Wayne scoffed. The hell! You saw those pictures, but left without saying anything. Did you think how will I live without you, without Teddy, Wayne? When you decided to marry someone else, then you can also live without us. Looking away with teary eyes. Them. When she was Yuri, you remember her? I told you about a girl like my sister. She looked at him. Them. I never married her. When she also didn't want. Dad was doubting on us, and I didn't want to make your life in. He was asking to my position. I did all hard work just for you and Daddy. How could I let it go? But I left everything and came here. Nothing is important for me in front of you both. I don't need anything else. Just come back. When was shocked to hear that. When? What about your marriage? Then she is married with Jungkook. They are happy. When looked at the other side, hiding her tears. When still, why you hide it from me? Damn, I'm sorry. I didn't want to make you worried because you were not okay. How could I give attention to both my babies? He saw placing his hand at her. When I looked down and a sob left her mouth. Damn, I found you everywhere. I was finding you like crazy, crying. Please come back to me. Wen hugged him, hiding her face in his. Finally, she let out everything which she was hiding for six months. Wen, you are so mean. Why you did that? It me every day thinking about you with someone else. Damn, I was always yours, Wena. And will be forever till my last breath. Why you did wrong, but I didn't know you were doing it for us. I'm sorry. Then it's okay. I know I should have told you, and also you should have talked to me. But I guess there was a separation written in our fate. It made our love more stronger, Wena. Wen, I love you, Tao. Tao, I love you too. He closed his eyes, feeling peace, having her in his arms. They backed off, seeing Jimin and Daddy. Daddy, let's go, Papa. Me and Jim back to back. When are you that desperate to make us leave? Jimin, I sh- I'm desperate to see your happiness. When hugged him and said thank you. Damn, who is he? When my cousin brother Jimin. The hell! Oh, thank you for taking care of my lives. He hugged Jimin. Jimin, no need to thanks. She's my sister and niece. By the way, will you miss Jimmy? Bout Daddy, don't be sad, Jim. Daddy will come to meet you, right, Papa? The hell! Yes, Princess. Smile. They bid goodbye to Jimin and left for their home. Skip. They all are now sitting in the living room of their old apartment. Daeyong is not scared of anyone. He will openly reveal his relationship. Today, Jungkook and Yuri came to meet them. They entered, and Daeyong came to Yuri, who held her up in his arms. Jungkook whispered, "Give her to me. Don't lift her." Yuri, Aish, nothing will happen. Shut up. Whisper back. Daddy was on her bunny's uncle's. 
who was tickling her yuri that is so cute yuri when you are also beautiful yuri smile Yuri, I'm sorry for whatever happened. Well, it was not your fault. Deal with it. Everything is okay now. Damn, I'm just waiting for my time. Who will be soon in my arms? Daddy, will Appa forget Daddy? Pout. Damn, no, you are my princess. I love you the most. Daddy, and you, buddy uncle? Jungkook, I love you too, princess. He her making Teddy giggled. They all smiled, looking at them. Then thank Jungkook because of his help, he was able to find his family. He was happy to have a brother like him. They were enjoying when doorbell rang. Then went to open the door and saw. Mr. Kim, everyone stood up. Jungkook and Yuri gulped. They thought he will receive a, but he received a tight hug. He freezed at his place, and others widened their eyes. Mr. Kim, how you lied to me, huh? Greg was. They were shocked. Mr. Kim, I was scared to lose you. He backed off and gulped the trees. Mr. Kim, I'm sorry for whatever I did to you. I know I'm the worst dad who his own child, but I never knew that you were married. They got shocked again. Mr. Kim, I realized everything when I saw you on hospital bed. Now I am felt guilty. Mr. Kim, but I felt worse when I visited you again next day. But you were nowhere. I realized how bad I am that my son did something like that. Then I was just looking down. Mr. Kim, I made you captive secret and even forced you to marry. Please forgive me. He joined his hands. Then, what are you doing, Dad? We hugged him. He knew his dad did wrong, but. He can't see him like that. Mr. Kim said sorry many times. Terry, Grandpa, cutely. Mr. Kim looked down and saw a copy of his son. He smiled and kneeled down. Mr. Kim, my princess, say that again. Cup cheek. Terry, Grandpa, pout. Mr. Kim hugged her. Mr. Kim, I'm sorry, baby. I made you away from your appa. Terry was not understanding anything, but she was just patting her grandpa's back cutely. Mr. Kim, her head and went to Jungkook. Mr. Kim, forgive me, son. I did bad to you. I'm feeling guilty to treat you like that. Jungkook hugged him. Jungkook, it's okay, Dad. Jungkook was happy. He called him his son for the first time. Mr. Kim patted Pine's head. Mr. Kim, stay happy, daughter. Smile and forgive me. Pine, don't say like that, Uncle. Mr. Kim, Dad, call me Dad. Pine smiled and nodded. Pine, yes, Dad. They all were happy finally. Now everything was okay until Jungkook spoke. Jungkook, we have something to tell you. Yuri bite her lips. Jungkook, um.
Jungkook, um, I, you, dad, hmm? Dad, you're going to be a grandpa again. Silence. Then, what the, why are you telling this so seriously? He's back. Jungkook, I hear you. Why are you so hard? Then, I walked him excitedly. Then, Congratulations, man. I'm going to be an uncle. Jungkook hugged back. Man also hugged Yuri. They all were happy. Their lives filled with happiness. Jungkook gave back the young's position and he managed John's enterprises. Mr. Kim was happy with his grandchildren and both brothers were taking good care of their wives. They were excited for the little ones. Miscommunications creates misunderstandings. Take advice from this FF and solve all the matters by communicating. The end.